this is Prince of Somnia, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald! Last time, we beat Tate and Liza in a gym fight and got the Mind Badge off of them. Now we've got seven of the eight badges. And in this episode, well, it looks like we've got trouble with Team Magma. Gee, I wonder what they could possibly be here for. Could it be that they're about to try and steal some jet fuel from the nearby space center? Nah, that would just be crazy, I mean, it's not as if they left us a letter stating that explicitly that they were going to be doing that, now is it? Okay, well, I guess that didn't work as well as I thought it did. Anyway, yeah, we gotta go to the Space Center. I... I actually don't remember if you have to do this in order to progress with the plot. I'm gonna assume you do, um, and if I'm wrong, well then... I... I'm right because it's my Let's Play, and everything I say is always right. Actually, now that I think about it, you do have to do this to progress to the plot, because otherwise, a certain someone won't be around to give you a certain item that you need in order to actually complete the game. So... Yeah! This is, by the way, Emerald exclusive. Um, in Ruby and Sapphire, they don't screw around with the uh, thing at all. Like, actually nothing happens at this point in the game, other than like, you getting that certain item I was mentioning, and then heading off to go and defeat Team Magma or Team Aqua at, um, an as-of-yet undisclosed location, let's just put it that way. So yeah, just like with Magma Hideout, this place isn't in the originals or the remakes. The, the originals being Ruby and Sapphire, not Emerald. You know what I mean, viewers. You know what I mean. Bold and... I was going to make a bold and brash joke, but then it sort of fell on its face before I even got the chance. They've got you in their sights. I would do it with a gravelly voice, but I don't feel like throwing my voice out the window today. Not this early in the recording session. By the way, all these fights that I've been skipping ahead of... Uh, yeah, they're, um, incredibly low-leveled. Yeah, when I say low-level, I mean, like, they're high 20s, low 30s sort of a deal. Incredibly weak and not really worth, uh, discussing all that much. Anyway, let's go in he here. Uh... I totally forgot that they were going to ambush me like that, but thank goodness they gave us the opportunity to go back, because I switched Kip out front thinking that the boss was going to be next, and I was wrong. Anyway, yeah, I think these guys are going to have to take on uh, three in a row, so... Yeah. Alright, took care of those guys. Yeah, they weren't all that strong. Uh, if they were smart about it, what they should have done was rush at me three on one, and... Well, they would still have lost horribly, but at least they would have had a chance of taking me down better than, you know, going at me one after the other after the other in what is effectively a single file line. <sighs> wow, what a selfish, selfish way of thinking. Anyway, up next is the reason why I saved. The boss. F you too, Maxie. Oh. And what purpose is that gonna serve? So... Literally, we lost Groudon, so fuck everything, we're blowing the goddamn mountain to hell. For... No reason whatsoever. Okay, game. Anyway, um, in this fight, we're gonna actually be having a multi battle with Steven. Um, and unfortunately, you can only go in here with three of your six Pokemon. So, yeah, you make make sure you choose wisely. Um, let's see. That's the wrong page of notes. There we go. Okay. Alright. 
Uh, don't bring anything that's quad weak to ground, so no Tyranno. Uh, Kip's going in first. Um... I think I want Cassiopeia to go in second. And... I did say no Tyranno, but honestly Tyranno is probably the next best choice of these. Uh, I don't want Striker Belch to come in because there's an Earthquake user on that team, um, and he'll annihilate both of them, um, which is also the same reason why I kind of don't want Tyranno out there. Hmm. Oh, fuck it. For multi boss time! Against Magma Leader Maxi and Magma Admin Tabitha. Starting off, Maxi will send out Mighty Enna, level 42, Intimidate for the ability, Swagger, Scary Face, Takedown, and Taunt. Uh, Tabitha will send out Camera Up, level 36, Oblivious for the ability, uh, Focus Energy, Takedown, Amnesia, and Rock Slide. And for this fight, Steven will be joining you in a multi-battle. That's why you can only pick three Pokemon, because... Uh... Well, honestly, because this game is so archaic that you can't do six plus three on three versus... Uh, three and three, so... Whatever. Um, in any case, you can see what Steven has. You can't switch with him, obviously, but you can see what he has. Um, he's got Matang, level 42, and these are his moves. Skarmory, level 43. And Agron, level 44, with an incredibly questionable moveset. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> why would you do this to yourself, Steven? Why? <laughs> uh, for the uh, uninitiated, those are all special moves, and, um, yeah. I mean, that's not to say 99 special attack is absolutely terrible, I'm just saying that, I mean, he could have had, like, multiple physical- oh, never mind. Let's just get on with the fight. Instead of, you know, bitching and whining about it. Anyway, Kip's out front because I want to take care of that camera up real quick. So I'm going to be spamming Surf. Uh, honestly, actually, I'm probably just going to spam Surf for the rest of the fight. <laughs> uh, if you haven't already been able to tell, Maxi's Pokemon are going to be a lot more powerful than Tabitha's in general. That's hopefully why Matang's going to help out here. Also keep in mind that in Generation 3, um... Well, actually that doesn't matter. Maxi's Mighty Enna has no Dark-type attacking moves. Oh! Ultra Combo! I was actually hoping that would take down the Golbat. Um, Tabitha's Golbat decided to confuse the Matang. Uh, it's also level 40, with uh, inner focus for the ability, it cannot be flinched, bite, wing attack, confuse ray, and air cutter. I hope you like the moveset bite, wing attack, confuse ray, and air cutter viewers. I hope you like it a lot. Tabitha's last Pokemon, Mighty Anna, level 38, intimidate for the ability, so there goes even more of my attack stat. Roar, Swagger, Scary Face, Takedown. No more worrisome than the average Mighty Anna, to be honest. Honestly, at this point, Team Magma's Mighty Anna are more of um, an annoyance than they are anything. Oh, yeah, Psychic ain't gonna work here. Who are you hitting with that? Me! Since I get intimidated twice, the effect Swagger's gonna have is basically to neutralize my own attack stat and confuse me, which is annoying. Um, okay, that just raised my attack stat sharply. Alright then. I'm gonna need to use the next turn to, uh, anti-confuse myself. Maxi's camera up to level 44, magma armor for the ability, take down amnesia, rock slide, and earthquake. This one I'm a little bit worried about. 
Uh, the reason why I was saying you gotta be careful because there's an earthquake user around is, well, because of that. Um, yeah, that's not gonna help. Um, let's see, uh, amnesia, probably, yeah. It'll make it a little bit harder to take down, a lot harder to take down, but I'm a little more than confident that uh, I should be able to deal with this guy in short order, barring this happens. God damn it. At this point, my attack stat's so highly raised that I'll probably, like, two-shot myself. Uh, I don't like where this is going, Camerapt. I really don't like where this is going. I'm willing to bet that it's going to tank this. Yeah, it's special defense is so high, it's... It's actually astronomical. Fortunately, now that uh, Tabitha's Mighty Anna is gone, it's a two-on-one fight, so... This should make it at least somewhat more manageable. Uh, it's going to hurt itself with recoil. I'm gonna go for the mud shot. Oop, no, not the bag. I'm gonna go for the mud shot because my attack stat is so uh, sky high right now. It'll probably do a lot more than Zerf would, even though it's quad weak to it. Oh, and here's the earthquake. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, Matang's probably dead. Yep, there it goes. This doesn't seem like the best time to switch to your Agron, Steven. I mean, uh, actually, it's the best time in the world to switch to your Agron. Uh, never mind that. Level 41! Not bad, not bad. Last but not least, Maxi's Crobat, level 43. Inner focus for the ability. Wing attack, confuse ray, air cutter, and mean look. And the Agron is protecting itself. Get out there and fight like a man! Oh, wait, you're a female. Well, don't worry, I one-shot the Crobat, so it's all good in the neighborhood. That's weird, it said Agron just gained experience there. Expand mass. I'm with stupid? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, probably. Well, gee, you think? Oh, okay. So, after all that, we get invited to Steven's home. Aw, yeah! No, no, I'm just... I'm kidding, no, I'm kidding. I'll be honest, the only reason why I switched Swampert out front is because I totally forgot that you had to choose three Pokémon for that fight. Now, I've never had this happen to me, but as far as I know, if you lose all your Pokémon in that fight, as long as Steven's still around, you won't game over. You won't be able to revive any of your Pokémon, but you won't game over. I think. It stands to reason that's the way it works, because that's how multi-battles in this game work, anyway. Anyway, let's go see Steven at his place just as soon as I finish healing up. Hey there. It's pretty a bare-bones house you've got here. Anyway, once you've cleared Team Magma out of the Space Center, you get HM08 Dive. You get this immediately after beating the gym in the remakes and in the original, by the way. If you may have uh, noticed, there were some dark patches of water when we were surfing over to Moss Deep City in the last episode. If you use Dive on those patches of water, it'll take you down underneath the surface. There's all sorts of stuff you can explore there, uh, namely the area that we have to go next in order to complete the plot. Um, and there's also uh, Pokemon that you can catch underneath there, one of which we're actually going to need to catch at some point um, for a side quest. I think I'm going to wait until later to do it though, but just keep in mind that that's going to be something we need. Now, I'm not going to go uh, to the next dungeon in the game yet, 
because um, I actually want to go and do some training. Uh, basically on the seas to the south of here, there's like a buttload of trainers, uh, most of which are water-based, that I want to take out. Uh, if you're playing Omega Ruby specifically, I would highly recommend waiting to do this until after you've completed the next portion of the plot. Uh, if you're out playing Alpha Sapphire, I would actually recommend that you do this before you move on to the next segment of the plot. You'll see why later, but just trust me on that one. Anywho, uh, let's see. We're actually okay on levels for what's coming up next, but I do still want to take the time to take out all the other trainers on the route. I'm just going to um, go out there, surf around, find the trainers, and I'll just speed up and play music over it and maybe commentate a little bit and post, but uh, before I do any of that, I just want to make sure, or not make sure, I, I want to warn you of something that we're going to have to do in the upcoming future. Um, in the next dungeon, in case you decide to go there straight off, you're going to need a lot of HMs, and I mean a lot of HMs. No less than Surf, Strength, Dive, and Rock Smash. You have to have those HMs on your team, or you cannot complete the game. At least for this dungeon. Um, but, uh, well, in order to get rid of that uh, need, I caught this uh, Shark Boy over here, so that I could teach it Rock Smash and Surf. I have Strength on someone, and I have uh, Surf on Kip, so other than that, I think we're good on HMs. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that I caught this off screen while I was level grinding for the gym leader. Uh, by the way, I did that by fishing around here with a super rod. You'll run into whalemers and sharpedos a lot, uh, a lot of which are high leveled. That's pretty much the best way to get levels around here, other than going to fight a whole bunch of trainers, which I could have done, but decided against. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and take out all of the trainers in basically the surrounding area. Um, I'll show you on the map real quick. Um, I'm going to take out all of the trainers in... I think I already dealt with Route 124 um, and 125. I'm going to take them all out here, here, in the route surrounding Sutopolis City. Uh, I'm actually going to avoid here. Um, and then all the way down here until I get to Pacific Log Town. And then I will meet you, um, actually at Pacific Log Town in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. See you guys then!